interesting Pogo the Clown story? Oh yeah, so when I, when I moved from New York to the Bay Area, San Francisco, the first person I met from the wrestling scene out here was Pogo the Clown. And uh, so again, I'm a guy in New York and I know about XPW and stuff like that. And uh, Pogo's just this giant brick wall guy who just legit hits people in the head with a shovel or whatever in XPW. So I'm like, damn, that guy is like this fucking crazy. Even though I'm in round wrestling and stuff, I'm like, I can still tell that guy's like legit crazy. He seems to, you know, bash everyone's head in and stuff. And uh, so I worked on the, or I should say, I created the Backyard Wrestling video game series and we had a launch event in San Francisco with matches and bands and things like that. And uh, Pogo the Clown attended the show. Like he wasn't, uh, Vic Grimes was booked on the show and Pogo came to see his old buddy Vic Grimes. And uh, so I just see Pogo in the dressing room or whatever and I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. And then uh, the people from the venue come up to me and are like, oh, uh, this guy says that uh, he didn't get his bar bad you know his badge for open bar and his you know badge for the the food spread like there's a ticket taker or whatever and uh and i'm like who which guy and she points to pogo the clown and i was like well he's not even a guest here you know what i mean he can stay here but he, he's not on the open bar and and free dinner deal and the people at the staff were a bit all like oh well um and i'm like well, do you want me to go tell him you know what i mean and they're like yeah so i go over to him and i'm like man this fucking sucks is what I'm thinking as I march over to this like 800 pound guy wearing like the, I don't even know what it was. So it's almost like a singlet underneath with like the giant hoodie that's like cut out, yeah. you know, look, leather gloves, <laughs> uh, the Hulk Hogan mustache, you know what I'm saying? Hey. And I'm like, hey, excuse me. I was like, uh, Pogo the Clown, right? He's like, oh, I was like, excuse me. And I was like, I introduced myself as the person running the event. And I was like, look, uh, you know, the event we're having today, it's a, it's a private event and it's by invitation only. And he's like, oh, I totally understand. He's like, uh, let me introduce myself to you. He's like, I'm, I'm Pogo the Clown. And I was like, oh yeah. I was like, I'm totally familiar with your work and everything. And I was like, but basically here's the deal. Um, and I was like, okay, it's about to happen. You know, I'm like, I'm like basically, hey man, full respect to you. If you want to come here and enjoy the show, you're here as my guest. However, the open bar, the, the dinner, all that stuff, that's for the performers, you know, performers only. He's like, oh no, he's like, I, I haven't even been over there. You know what I mean? I've just been, uh, I was happy to see the show and thank you. And uh, it turns out like the two dudes that drove him are over there using his name. Like, well, we're with that guy. And he says we get catering. He says we get drinks. So I thought this dude was gonna kick my ass. He ended up being totally beyond cool about everything. and was just a super nice guy. And then like, so a year or two later when I was gonna run a show, um, Pogo was a big part of that. You know what I'm saying? And it just shows you how perception and reality can be two such different things because he's he's like this super gentleman wrestling handshake guy you know what i mean but i fully expected based on everything i'd heard about the guy that he was gonna you know just go ballistic yeah. what i can't have a drink at the bar or your food you i'm not good enough for your fucking food fuck you you know i didn't want to get one of those shovel and beat you to right just fucking yeah. clonk <laughs> with his entourage of dudes but uh no but he ended up being totally cool and he's uh He's a fixture out here. He's an icon in our and a Hall of Famer for this area, for sure, West Coast wrestling, period. Um, why, though? He's one of, like, the... You could probably name the people now. Maybe it's on two hands. But it's really on, like, less than two hands you can name everybody who's ever gotten out of this area, you know? Mm -hmm. Pogo wrestled in XPW, which was seen by the world. He wrestled in Japan. And that's the key to everything, man. So Pogo the Clown, that's my story. Probably not as good now. I feel like I left out some of the drama, <laughs> some of the, the intrigue of the beatdown. More hand gestures, maybe. Just throw them out. <laughs> hey. hey. And then I got into the good and fresh. Fuck yeah. it. He, he's always like, <laughs> yeah. he gets into that. Fuck. You fucker. Yeah, it might be actually a 